going back to playing with the Royals, I mean, it was uh, it was great. My brother was playing there at the time. Bobby was a, a player that uh, had played there for two years, and I got drafted uh, by the Royals. And so I kind of knew a little bit about Cornwall. I'd gone to visit him a few times. I'd watched a lot of games uh, when my dad would go up and my mom would go up to watch uh, my older brother. So I kind of knew uh, what the ropes were. We were really blessed. Uh, Doug Carpenter came in to coach uh, when I got there, and he was just a terrific coach, a disciplinarian, and also just an honest, good. Uh, he implemented such simple uh, requirements for us, and he really taught us how to be um, to be not only good players but also good citizens as well. I thought, and um, you know, we uh, we had great players that played with us, uh, Danny Dow, Rod Bullard, all those guys, Jill Kripo. And then, of course, we got Dale Howarchuk and uh, Scotty Arneal to, to blend in with guys like uh, Fred Boimstruck and Fred Arthur. And it was just a really a, a magical couple of years. Uh, the first year was that we won was kind of a surprise. Uh, but, you know, we found a way to, uh, to get through all the challenges that we had to in each and every series and then on into the Memorial Cup. And then the next year, we were a, a seasoned club uh, that had a lot of experience. And, and I think we just knew what it took, uh, even as 20-year-olds and 19-year-olds and 18-year-olds, we knew what it took uh, to get it done. And we, we did a great job of getting that done. But a lot of great experiences along the way uh, with those Royals. Um, it's amazing to see how, how well all the players that we've played together with how well they've done in, in life, whether it's, uh, you know, Pat Harris, Newell Brown, uh, uh, Ronnie Scott, uh, Tommy Grovac, most of the guys that have been here have either gone on and, and really had great uh, lives. And now you look back at it 40 years later and you say, where'd the time go? Uh, <laughs> but it's, uh, it, it's, it's very clear that uh, those days were very, very important. Uh, to all of us, and they really they did set us up to be successful in life. Yeah, there's no question about that. Uh, a lot of interest in the Royals, uh, especially during uh, this pandemic time with uh, social media um, and the memories that are coming out uh, in town through either Facebook or Twitter and uh, a couple of groups who are, uh, um, you know, would really love to see junior hockey return here. Uh, that dream stays alive uh, with a lot of people, but um, just the memories that, that they have, the old pictures that are showing up from, uh, you know, the old Water Street before you got oh, here. No. Yeah, it, it's... Um, and it was such an important thing because there's so many great Cornwall kids that played for the team. I mean, probably the best of them all, Dave Ezard. You know, but I think back to, you know, guys like Jerry Ingram, Brian Fontaine. Um, you keep going on down that list of, of players. You know, Alain Chevrier played uh, in the net for us for, uh, for, for a lot of games. And I always found that when I, when I got there as a coach, too, that I thought, boy, the more you could have local kids here, the more that that flavor really helped uh, the Royals. And, and you know, I, I was involved in the one draft, and we drafted a lot of Cornwall kids that year. And that was what we wanted. We wanted the Derek Grants and the Todd Walkers and, and the Robbie Lefaves to be guys that played for the Royals. But then I really felt that that was a big part of uh, uh, why any team is successful. You've got local interest along with these other great kids that come in from throughout, throughout the province.